Hey, what's going on guys? Just a real quick update video here today. I thought about just doing this as like a, a short or a live stream or something just, but I wanted to make sure that uh, as many of you guys saw this as possible because the majority of the updates uh, that I want to talk about in this video is regarding the old to gold contest. So we're now about two and a half weeks into the old to gold contest. A little bit on that, uh, so far I've already got over 120 entries, which is amazing, a lot more than I was expecting. Uh, so that's awesome. That's from 20 different countries too. So I always love to see uh, the, the spread of all the different countries that are represented in these contests. So really, really cool. Awesome. And I'll talk some more about that in just a second. I'm also working on my own entry, of course I can enter, but I'm also working on an old to gold build to kind of do along with you guys. And so I'm hoping to have the first part of my video uh, on the old 100 scale Zaku Cannon out for you guys either tomorrow or the next day. So look forward for that. But some of you may have noticed that I didn't upload or post anything for the past two weeks. Uh, I did mention this beforehand, but I was on vacation for the past two weeks. So I was on vacation uh, up to Illinois visiting my parents and my hometown and with my family. And so that was nice to have a vacation. Basically it was the first time I've had a vacation since moving here to the US. So it was nice to have a vacation for a break, but uh, I'm back from vacation now, like I said, working on the Zaku Cannon here. And what I wanna talk about regarding the contest is it seems like most people are pretty much uh, in a perfect understanding as to what we're looking for for this contest, but there is something that I do wanna clarify. And that is the regarding uh, the use of new kits, whether it be kit bashing parts from new kits, or a lot of people have been wanting to use like frame parts from new kits. And in the initial announcement video, I did talk about how I wanted you guys to use about 15 max, like 20% of new of parts from new kits uh, kit bashed onto your onto or into your old kit, whatever old kit that you're using again before the from 1996 or before uh, for the year of the production of the kit that you're working on. Anyway, I was thinking probably a better way to explain this would be for that roughly 15 or so percent that we would like to see as in, you know, obviously we're not going to get super mathematical about it, but you know, for the small amount of parts that you're using on your kit, you should consider basically that's the amount of leeway that we're giving you guys to use anything that didn't exist in that time. So basically think about it as like, you're building this model in the year 1996. I guess that's a good way to think about it because anything after that, like we're saying, that's not allowed to be used for the context except for a small percent. So imagine you're building this kit in the year 1996. Any other kits or anything that's been produced after that, you're only able to use just a small amount of that. So we, anything as far as like plot plate, putty, scratch building, you can do as much of that as you want. You can do 15, 20, 80, percent scratch building for this just using like the base kit and then scratch building an, an entirely new head and entirely new arms and entirely new backpack um, you can scratch build as much as you want that all that stuff was available in that time of 1996 but if you wanted to take like this kit and use some parts from an HD the origin kit an HD the origin kit didn't exist in 1996 so you would be able to use you know roughly again 15 to 20 percent of parts from that kit so if you wanted to let's say use uh, inner frame parts from the Master Grade Zaku Cannon, uh, I'm poking myself in the face with that, on that kit, uh, then, you know, you have to consider how much is going to show, you know, obviously if you're putting frame parts in where no one's going to be able to see it, it's kind of a little bit kind of gray area because then if you're using the frame parts that you're putting into there, even though they're not visible, if they're, a, you know, affecting the kit in a way that you're able to do like some really super dynamic poses with it, you know, how much of that frame is going to show. Again, it's kind of a little bit of a gray area there, but basically it comes down to what is noticeable, what's visible of parts that are from past 1996 in your kit. We would like to see you guys using those parts to a minimum. And so that's kind of the main point. Again, really like what we would like to see from you guys is just taking that old kit and, you know, using all of your uh, talents as a, an artist as a modeler, using products and techniques that would have been available at that time. Obviously, we're giving you guys free range as far as tools go. We don't want to say like, oh, you can't use any tool that didn't exist back then. The tools is fine. But basically, we want you guys to take those old kits and make them look you know, as good as you can, whether that means keeping it like looking very old, but just like painted really nice is okay. Or you could go in a different direction of like taking an old kit like this and you know, detailing it and scribing it and doing everything like that to make it look just like the master grade or like a really super detailed RG or something like that, you can do that. Uh, but again, as far as what you're gonna be using from new kits, whether it be parts or like an entire head or an entire section of a part, again, keeping that to a minimum, anything that's newer 
than 1996. So I hope that's clear enough for you guys. Inevitably in these contests, there's always people that are kind trying to push the boundaries a little bit. I would just advise you to maybe not try to do that as my hope is that I'm being perfectly clear enough as to what we're looking for. Uh, but again, if you guys do have questions, you know, you can ask. People have been asking some questions, but for the most part, the, there hasn't been too many questions with this one. Like I said, I think most of you guys are kind of getting or going for. Most of the questions that I've got is, I'm not sure when exactly this kit came out. Is this kit eligible? And if, uh, for most of the cases, for most people that have asked, uh, most of this stuff has been eligible. So that's great that you guys are finding kits that you can use. Like I said, we're seeing a lot of old Gunpla, but then also seeing some like old Macross. What else? Uh, there was at least one Machining Krieger kit that we saw in there and all sorts of different other old mecha models like Dragonar and stuff like that. So a lot of really cool stuff that you guys are working on. And like I said, a lot more entries than I expected at this point. So I'm really looking forward to that. I think that we're gonna have a really nice turnout for this contest it's great to see so many people working on some old vintage kits very very cool to see hopefully as many of you guys as, as possible are able to finish your entries by the deadline which again is september 17th check out the initial video the initial announcement video if you guys didn't see that if you have no idea what i'm talking about obviously go back and check that out all the details are explained and if you're wondering oh i missed it is it too late for me to enter the contest it's absolutely not too late for you guys to enter the contest i gave you more than two months so we're, like i said we're only two and a half weeks in at this point uh, you still have plenty of time to enter in the contest uh, so hopefully more of you guys will and then like I said looking forward to that again a big thank you to USA Gundam store for sponsoring the contest for making it all possible our guest judges George and Brian thank you guys I'm actually gonna be speaking with them on a live stream later this week the three of us will get together we'll do a live stream uh, and we'll kind of talk about what some of our expectations are we'll talk about the contest some more just uh, as a group of us as the judges for the contest so look forward to that I'll update you guys as to when that's gonna be but for now that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much. Great to be back here in the studio, and I'm going to be working on a whole bunch of different stuff, so look forward to that, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.